What is up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And today, as promised, I'm going to run through and just jump through the market, checking on items to give you examples that show my collector strategy. This is strategy 2.0, where I continue to stack the items as they present themselves with outlier prices and ones that have big price gaps. So as we move through, we're going to see how I'm doing exactly as we look at some of the prices on the items that I have plucked from the market just in the last week or two. So we're going to start out with Adventure Time, and I'll try to run through and just get as many of these as possible. So what I always tell people to do is to know what the history of pricing is on a lot of these items, like 20 gems on BMO. I haven't really checked BMO too much here in the last few weeks. I've still got a nice stack and have not picked any up, but it did drop below 20 gems. It was down as low as I think 17 gems. Finn Mertens is another one where we're sitting at 25, but I think it dipped down to as low as 20, which lets me know if we dip back down again to those levels, I need to snag them. Now, I'm down to only three Ice Kings, and I'm looking to get a few more, but we're at $46.99. I know that I've seen prices as low as 38 gems, so that's going to be the trigger for me. Otherwise, I'm not going to add to that stack. Jake the Dog sitting at $29.99. If I'm not mistaken, I think we did dip down to as low as 26 gems, and I might pick up one more. Now, when we look at this, we see... A few listings that are right clustered around 30, 31 gems, and then it jumps up from there. Now, it doesn't mean that once those are gone that we won't return back down to those low prices. It just means that right now people are not willing to sell at 30 gems or less than 30 gems. And I am not willing to buy at greater than about 25 gems. So what it boils down to is... What is the price that I'm willing to jump in and strike? That dictates how I buy items during this downtrend. $29.99 on Lumpy Space. We've seen this go down as low as $25. And I still have about nine left in that stack. Let's move through to a couple other sets here that have some good recent examples. The DeLorean Ultra Rare at $175. Now, if you'll remember... It dipped down to 160 and it was sitting there for a few days and then it jumped back up. So that lets me know that there's a good chance that on the next downtrend or the next gem squeeze, 160 is about the low. And I might pick up one more to add to my four and bring that stack up to five total sets. The DeLorean Ultra Rare is the main one, but then our Rare sitting at 22 is a pretty good buy right now. And then the common, of course, we've seen it dip down to 15 gems, and we're just above that right now. I've still got about 26 of the common, and I want to end up with five complete sets and then take this uh, stack of the uh, common up to 30. I have 26 of that. Okay, looking at Back to the Future 2, there, there are some great examples here of how I operate when buying. Starting out with Marty's Hoverboard, it's at 41.50. I'm not willing to buy at that price. I am going to wait until it jumps down to 35 gems. Will it do that? I don't know. If it doesn't, then I'm just not going to buy. I've got two of them right now. And let's just look at the last one that I picked up. It was at a price of 31 gems. Okay, that was outstanding. When I saw that dip down, I had to jump because that was below my strike price of 35. But since I know that it was possible for this one to go down that low... I'm not going to buy at 35. I'm going to say, okay, it's going to have to go down to 30 gems or 31 again for me to be willing to spend the money on it because I'm spending money out of pocket. I'm not selling items right now. I can't even tell you the last time that I've sold an item. It's probably been months. I'm just in accumulation mode and I'm sitting on these things. To me, Right now is not the time to sell. I don't sell during a down market. When I know we're in the distribution phase, this is not the time to be selling. Unless you're a person who's selling items because you want to pick up something that you really want. 
and you're at least breaking even and swapping one item for another. But that still doesn't explain why some people are selling items for five or six gems that had a retail price of 50. Now, looking at the NoTech hoverboard sitting at 1349, and we had talked previously that my strike price was 13 gems. But now I've lowered that. I'm not going to buy any more of these. I've got five. And now my new strike price is going to be 10 gems, maybe 11 gems. Why is that my strike price? It is because I've seen it dip down to 11. Here's the last one I bought at 13. I thought I had, yeah, there it is, 12 gems and 12 cents. That was my lowest price of recent, which takes me back to last year when I first started stacking these, when it was sitting at a price of 10 to 11 gems. If we go back down to 10, I will add to that stack. Now look at this. This is fantastic. The question mark hoverboard. I think I've got a couple of these. It's sitting at 1997. What is my strike price? It's 13 gems. Why did I choose 13 gems? It's because we did see it jump down to that price. There it is right there. I picked up this one, number 2721, for 13 gems. That's at the price of the NoTech. I could not resist. So now that we have uh, uncovered the fact that it can go down that low, that is going to be my new price, 13 or less, before I will buy. That's not saying it's going to go back down to that price. It just says that I am not willing to buy unless it dips down to 13. Now, looking at the rising sun, it's back up to 1850. How many do I have? I've got three. I had to add to this, and here's why. Number 3443. Three. I like that. That's the, do you call that a palindrome, or what do you call it when your number is the same backwards? Well, this one dipped down to 11.50. Is that not ridiculous? That's wild. So my strike price for this one is now 11 gems. I'm good with the three. I'll just sit right there. And with that nice bit of fluff space all the way up to 1850, I got a great price. And so I'm not hurting. So whenever the market continues to dip down, it doesn't upset me at all. <clears throat> I'm not thinking about the ones that I bought previously at a higher price. And it's because I plucked off the outliers where there were desperate sellers wanting to sell and cash in their gems at a very, very low price. Let's skip down to the Batman black and white and look at this new set here. And I want to talk about the Doug Monkey Batman. Now, we're sitting at a price of 1888. I've got four of these, and my strike price is 14 gems. Sadly, I missed on the chance to grab one at 14 gems. But now that we have seen listings go that low, there's one that I bought at retail, I can wait until this one goes down below 15 gems, and then I'll add to the stack. The same thing occurred on the Jim Lee Batman. I love this item. It's sitting at $18.99, which is a great price, but not low enough for me to buy one. So the last price that I bought, okay, there's retail 40 gems. I think I got one at around 20 or 21. There's another at 40. These are pretty high prices. There's another at 40. I think I bought all these right around the drop. So I'm looking to dollar cost average on this. So the next time that we drop down to maybe 15 gems, I'm going to grab a couple of more to lower my average cost. Otherwise, I'm satisfied with that set. Now, looking at the battle statue, here's another great example. Batman versus Killer Croc. It is sitting at 82. We've seen it dip down below that. I've just got one. I paid less than that, I believe. Let's see, 82 gems, well, right at that price. We've seen it go down as low as 75, but I don't think I'm going to pick up an extra one. I did get another Superman versus Flash. We're sitting at 52.80, and I know from checking the app multiple times per day that our low price on this is 41 gems. I got my second one for $44.99. I may pick up a third if we dip down to 40 gems. And so if we don't dip to that, hey, that's fine. But if I'm waiting, I'm ensuring that I'm getting that item at the lowest possible price. Black Panther Uncommon. We are sitting at $14.75, which is a great price. I got a couple of these. I picked up the second one, 
at a price of $12.50. Not bad. So I'm satisfied with that. If we go below 12, I'll get another. See again, this is going to protect me from overbuying. We've got the common at 22, which I think is a great item in that classic pose with the arms folded up. I got the first one, I think it was like 90 gems. And then the second one, I paid 23. We're below that price. If we go much further below, say, 20 gems, I'll pick up a third because I like that item. Okay, let's jump on down and look at the bombshells. This one's on the radar. Big Barda is dipping down. We're at 265, and that is just seriously low. If we get to 250, I might start thinking about picking it up. And the Starfire, I had one. It's at 350 right now. I've seen it dip to as low as 299. I sold mine for, I think, $1,200 last spring, in the spring of 2021. And that's an awesome item. So I'm waiting to see what happens. Now, here we have the Harley Quinn version in this set. And I picked up a second one. The first one was around 90 gems. And then the second one I picked up for 20 gems. That's got me sitting pretty. And I'm in the green at 28.25. So that's the beauty of being patient and letting these items come back down to get you because you know that you're not going to be sitting upside down and you're able to dollar cost average and bring your average to a very decent price holding for the next run. The protector common. Now I have one of these that's sitting at 41 and I know the behavior of this item. Every now and then, it takes a nice little nosedive. The first one I picked up at 31 gems, and I thought that was the last one I was going to be able to get. But what happened? It dipped down again. I got it for $30.99, so I'm good to go there, and we're sitting at a nice 41 gem floor price. I don't think it's going to go below 30 again, unless we have some really cataclysmic events that go on that bring the market down. The Uncommon Assassin sitting at 60. This one went down as low as 45, but I bought my first one. I was good at 54.99. I don't think I'll get a second one, but I do have the Nightwatch Rare on the radar. It's sitting at 119, and I know that it is dipped down to 95 gems. So if we go below 100 again, I'll have to go ahead and pick that one up. All right, let's look at the Starlight Collection. This Ultra Rare at 54 gems is a great buy. I'm thinking about getting another one if we jump down to, say, 48 gems. That's my strike price. My first one, I paid 69. I'm okay with that. Now, looking at the Coca-Cola Creations, this big block of shiny rock, sitting at 18 gems, I think the lowest one that I bought might have been around 12 or 13 gems. Let's just look and see. And... Find out what that price was. $21.99 for this one. And we've watched this thing. There it is. 15 gems. That's my low. We watched this one bounce around and it likes to get pumped. There's my low price. 30 or 13 gems. That's my low. And then 18 gems were right there in the middle. So my average is around 16, 17 gems. And this one has jumped up to 30. I don't know why it bounces up and down so much, but that's a good one to stack and unload. Now looking at the Coke can. I love this thing. It's been sitting at a floor price of $5.99 for I don't know how long. I've got 11 of these, and I continue to buy them when I'm in the mood to buy whenever it sits at $5.99. I think the cheapest one I got was five gems, and the same holds for the Starlight Orb. $6.90 floor price. I've got 10 of them now. This is an easy one to stack, and it's a cool item. It's interesting. And when it jumps down to 6 that's when I start to add to that stack. I can't lose there. Now, the Daredevil. I love this set because people don't like it because of the long neck and the weird poses. But I think it's art, and I don't think everything has to be photorealistic. And for that reason, I've been stacking the commons. My strike price is five gems. That's the lowest price that I got on the common, and I think right now, six gems is the low on the uncommon. I've got 14, and I've been just stacking this thing easy peasy, but I'm going to Cool out on stacking this one because that's enough to be able to get a very nice profit. There it is. Look at that price. Five gems. It's not going to go below that. That's just such an easy one to flip. And when the market starts to heat up, I'll probably be able to sell that for 3x to 4x and cash in for gems to get other items. Now, let's look at 
the rare. I like the rare pose. This is a good one. We're sitting at 888. I have five of these. And I think the cheapest price that I got this one was somewhere around seven gems. There it is. 7.70. What's the next one? I think I thought I might have gotten it cheaper than that. Let's just see here. 770. There's two at the same price. I guess that was the low. Um, 10.99 and up. And then the secret rare, I've got one. I paid way too much, but it was with leverage gems, so it's okay. We're sitting at 75. It did dip down to 58 gems, and I tried to get a second one and was not able to complete the transaction because the app was bugging out. If we drop back down below 60, I'll get a second one. I'll be fine with that, and we'll just wait for that price to come on up. Now, what else is worth talking about? The cover girls. Here we go, Bat Girl, the common, sitting at 1050. And when it drops below 10 gems, that's when I jump on board because it seems to sit at 10 at a low point. And I got one for nine. That was my cheapest one. And I'm satisfied with that. We'll leave that stack alone. Bat Girl has been jumping around. 1715. I now have six of these. And I picked up a couple here lately at a pretty cheap price that I think I won't be able to beat. There it is, 15 gems on the common, and 20 gems is the next one, so I'll cool out on that item. Now, we're looking at the Catwoman here, sitting at 33, which is not a bad price, but I'm waiting for it to come down further. 30 gems is my strike price. I did pick up one at 48. I need to get a couple more. I'm waiting for 30 gems. Now, the Harley Quinn Ultra Rare here at 49 is pretty good, and I've seen it dip down to 39 gems. I only have one, and I paid an extreme price with leverage gems, 318 at the time. So I'm going to wait and get one more if it dips down to 40. Here's Mira. I only have one. It's sitting at 49. I should have picked up another one. I really should have. Um I'm already, uh, let's see, I'm 10 in the hole there. It's jumped down to as low as 28. I know the 28 is the rock bottom price there, and I should have gotten it while I had the chance. Now, looking at Supergirl at 38.80, it's rebounding from dipping way down. I've got eight now. Let's look at the low price of what I plucked my eighth one out. It was at 29 gems. How about that? That's incredible. In fact, the second to the last one, I was at 33. So I'm fine with this one. I brought my average cost way down because the highest price that I paid, I think, was 250. Another great one is the Supergirl Ultra Rare. It's at 144. It went down as low as 128 gems, and I'll probably get another at that price. I bought at 191, which is not too bad. I got a nice number, so I'm good with that. Now, the Wonder Woman is dipping down low. We're at 1470, and this is actually at a good price, but I have 11, so I'm satisfied with uh, 11 of these. Let's see what the lowest price I got. 15 gems, so I could beat my low price right now, but I think I'm satisfied. I'll maybe get one more. If it goes to 13 gems, that's the undeniable low price that I've got to get it at. So these prices are low enough that I'm not going to be hurting, okay? Now, we could go through the golden moments. There is one that I'm looking to get. Um, I did get my Homer and Bart back again. We're sitting at 225. It's been as low as 178 gems, but we are actually above the price that I paid, 210, which is not bad. I had two of these before, sold one right after the drop. And I'm looking to get Iron Man back. But Iron Man is sitting at 276. I want to wait until it dips back to 200, and then I'll get it back. Now, your partner's is back above 5,300. It was down as low as what? 4,300, I think, was the low point. I would like to have one. And who knows? Maybe I'll save up uh, the money and pick one up and just buy it at that price. If it If it dips back down below... 5,000 again. We'll keep it on the radar. So those are just a few examples. I don't want to make this a long video. Um, there are just maybe a few others that I could talk about here. Let's just do two more items. Looking at the invisible woman sitting at 675. I got a bunch at like 599. I think 599 is my low point. You see that I have 30 of these now. If we scroll all the way down, we should be able to see my low price. And it was at 675. I think I went lower than that because there was a bunch I got at 650. 
And I know that $5.99 was my low price, but we won't sort through and try to find that. I'm good with that right now. We'll leave that stack alone. Now, the secret rare is at $197. It did dip down to $148. If it does it again, I'll get my second one. The rare is sitting at a good price of $12.98. 11 gems is my strike price, and that's the low. How many rare do I have right now? I have uh, 10 editions. Let's see what that low price was real quick. And then I'll talk about the ultra rare. <clears throat> okay, that was the high price there. These are not sorted. I wish they were sorted as most recent, but 1130, there's one. Um, I think 1125 might be the low point. So we're looking good on the rare. That presents a very good potential of creating a profit. The ultra rare is sitting at 35 gems. I actually need to buy that right now because my strike price is 35. I'll probably pick it up. Now, last but not least, let me talk about two labbits, and then we're going to finish this up. It is the Visible Labbit that is sitting at 48. And folks, I picked up my fifth one, and you won't believe the price that I got. Here it is, right here. I thought that the bottom, rock bottom, was 45, but I got one at 35 gems. I am not hurting on that one. If it goes back down that low, I'll get another one, but I'm good with my five. And finally, last but not least, I finally picked up the Visible Labbit Neon. It is sitting at a price of $58.99, but it jumped down to the amazing low, low price of 53 gems, and I went ahead and picked it up. This one was over 700 gems during the last peak, so I'm good to go. So the point that I'm making in this video is that you need to wait until they come way down below your strike price where you see a price gap, where you know that it's an outlier, where you know that it's not going to dip down much lower, that makes you feel bad that you've bought and you're underwater and have to hold. If you wait long enough, they always come back down to get you. So that's all for this quick little market update and an example of how I pluck off the outliers. Post your comments and questions below. I've got more content coming your way. So stay tuned. This is Carlton and I am out.